Well, Gaffer, home game. It's been a while since we've had a home game. Actually, now about three in a week. Yes, good to be back home. Um, had a lot of travelling to do. You know, the 12 league games we've had, we've only had five at home. So, obviously, Saturday and Tuesday now, that makes it seven of each. And we hope that we continue this home run because we're on a fantastic form at home. We, 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 we're strong um, and we want to continue that. Yeah, Blackpool, one of the teams at the start of the season, a lot of people tip to, to be challenging. It takes a while, obviously, with the amount of players they've brought in to sort of gel them together. Yeah, I think I've said that earlier in the week. Yes. You know, they brought in a new manager. Um, they brought in a lot of players, um, and sometimes that can take a little bit longer than, than what you'd hope for. But they've won their last three games. They they're a very strong team for me. They've got real key, key areas where they're strong, and that's something that we've we've spoke about. But we're at home. We have to make sure that we get a reaction to last week's performance. Result-wise, you're going to lose games, but it was the performance. But I have to keep saying that we can't forget the form before that game. And we've had a really good week of training, and it was important that we didn't, I felt, have a game on the Tuesday. I wanted a week in the grass for them. And the players are, are, are looking forward to the game. Yeah, and in terms of Blackpool, just finally, obviously, they've got experience at front. They've got attacking options in wide areas, and I think you said earlier in the week they've actually changed the system and found a winning formula as well. Yes, they have. That doesn't mean they're going to do it. Their manager was at our game last week, so he may come away from that and think, well, whatever. But it's, a, it's about us, and you know, if they play the way they have been, we, we'll go through it with the players. Yeah, they've got Medina up front, who's a threat. Yates, who did very well on loan at Swindon, he's a threat. Two wide players who are very good wide players, Hamilton and Kai Kai. And it almost is a front four at times. So, listen, every team you play against, and, and there's no more evidence than last week, uh, if we're not at it and, and to the levels that I would expect in terms of um, the running stats, the basics of the game, we need to make sure that's taken care of. That's the most important thing for me. If the basics and the fundamentals of a game of football do not change. If you don't get it right, it doesn't matter who you've got in your team, what team you are, you stand a, a far bigger chance of losing. So we get, we get that correct, which we have 90% of the season, then it gives us a better chance of winning the game. We have to have a good shape, we have to be solid without the ball, and we know we've got players that can open teams up. So I think that's the real message I've been given to the players, and, and the players fully understand that. You didn't get on last night, but great for Jack Taylor to be involved in the, in the full Irish squad for the first time. Fantastic for the boy and his family. Fully deserved. Uh, he's had a very good season following on from a very good time he's had with us full stop since he joined. Um, he's developing all the time, he's added goals to his game and he's a very good player and I had no surprise and I was delighted for him. Uh, obviously he didn't get on but the fact he was involved in the squad. So And also on a purely selfish note it means that he, he got a bit more rest and he was back this morning or this lunchtime. We'll do the test, we'll get the results tonight and fingers crossed, touch wood, he's fine and he'll be available for Saturday. Yeah, and as I say, he's, he's such an important player in terms of how, how you play, but also how, in, the, in the form he's in, and you obviously want him back in the group as soon as you can. Yeah, we, listen, he's a, he's a big player for us, and he, he, he's, he gets that, you know, sort of comment because of his form. And we knew what we were getting, but he has improved. Um, but it can be difficult for players when, you know, they come into the team and they haven't been playing for a while, and I've seen evidence of that last week. You know, as a player, I've been there myself where you think, oh, am I only going to come in for one or two years? You need a run, but it's difficult if you keep winning games and people are in form. And, and it's up to the ones that are not in the team or squad to, to show the form and training and in games to to stay in there. And and that's really the the secret to it. And there can be no excuses on that front. Fraser mm. Blackface had a bit of a stop start season this year because obviously he got injured just before the first game of the season and then his obviously found limited opportunity because of the form of others. He obviously gives you a balance if you choose to play in a certain way. Is, is that a plus point that he can bring to, to the party? Certainly it gives you the balance with his left foot and being a left-sided player. So the three positions are he's obviously in a back four or left back. He can play left centre half and a three and he can play left wing back. Um, so he, he definitely gives you that balance. That was one of the reasons why I brought him on at half-time. It wasn't necessarily because Niall made a mistake, because if it was a case of people making mistakes, you would have taken most of them off. It was a key mistake in the game because it led to a goal, but 
I needed balanced because I wanted to change shape. I wanted to try and deal with their wider areas better, which we weren't doing. Um, so that was why Fraser came on and he did fine in the game. We were far better in the second half. We weren't, still weren't anywhere near the level I, I know we can get to, but we were a better yeah, performance in the second half. So um, that was the reason he came on and he, and he did fine. It's unfortunate for now because in, in the main, since he joined, Nile's been very consistent in terms of his performance. He's, he's always someone that will never let you down. No, I never. I've had him before, obviously, at Doncaster. Mm. Never lets you down. Uh, frustrated that he's not playing. Understands, but frustrated. He's he's not used to not playing games. I have to say, he's one that is normally played on a regular basis. But understands it, and obviously um, has played a few games of late. Obviously played in the cup uh, with Tom being injured. Um, you know, he played in the game against Crew, um, but it certainly wasn't just the fact that he made that mistake. Was it the reason? The reason we lost was because we didn't play as a team, and we win and lose as a team. So, look, I've, I've no con concerns with Niall, with Fraser. We're, we're the ones that you know need to come in and step up. I have no concerns. Yeah, interesting mindset now with five substitutes being allowed because, as you said after the game on, on Saturday, you could have made a number of changes in that first half. Gives you a bit more flexibility, and I guess if you are named as a substitute now, there's every chance you're going to get on. Well, yes, because Touchwood, in terms of you don't want an injury to your goalkeeper, mm. so effectively, five out of six can get on. It's going to be interesting, actually. It's going to be interesting how how you can manage it, because. It psychologically we can make a difference to a game so for example if you're losing a game at home and you get to 60 minutes and stick five players on it changes a lot mm. one set pieces who's marking who two just the impact I think it would have better impact if it was fans I have to say if you bring five on it, it, that gets a reaction but yeah I think it's going to be interesting I think it's the right call because of, just because of the, the situation we're in and we have to manage it carefully but uh, yeah it could be interesting yeah, I suppose, as you say, it's a different mindset in terms of a different game, isn't it? I mean, if you are trying to shore yourself, there are different ways of doing that in terms of players. But also those players have got to know that they can actually genuinely impact the game now, probably more than what they could before. Because Absolutely. The Absolutely. The subs are massive in any game, but particularly in this this season. Because, you know, there's sometimes you don't need them because the game's going well and why change the rhythm mm -hmm. of a game? There's sometimes you can look for reasons to bring them on and there isn't really one. There's obviously sometimes tactically, like Saturday, we need to change things. And then you might be chasing a game, so you obviously need to look at your attacking players. You might be um, fortunate to be in a game where you're two or three goals up with 25 minutes to go, and you might think, get five players off. So there's all different dynam di um, dynamics to it. So you just have to you know, be mindful that now we've got two extra subs, and I think it's a good thing. Yeah, and just finally, obviously Nathan Thompson continuing his rehab alongside Ricky. Are they the only two in the treatment room? Really yeah, but they're they're they're, they're in a good. They're, they're going well. They're going really well, Phil. You know, Nathan Thompson will be fit for the cup game. Uh, whether I risk him or not, I don't know. Whether I get a fool's week training into him, I'll have to decide. Ricky is a a good week ahead of schedule. He's um, he's out in the grass. He's doing some running. We we expect him to be back training around about the 12th, which is a week earlier than, than we, we thought, so he will be available for the 19th, that's sort of what we got penciled in. But yeah, they're both coming along great, and no issues. Flynn Clark's picked up a slight injury on Tuesday, so he, he'll be out for a period of time. Um, just He felt his hamstring, but carried on, and really should have just come straight off. Um, so I had a decision to make about him anyway, whether I played him in the Youth Cup or not, because obviously that's important to us. So. Yeah, but apart from that, no, we're looking good. Touch wood.